Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be painting this duck build. Um, if you guys uh, watched my previous video, I stated that I was going to have this shot painted. But, so I decided to make a video for you guys to showcase those who, you know, don't have enough money or like um, try, wants to do this a DIY a paint uh, for your car because, you know, this, this part is like actually only like $60 and I don't know how much the quote would cost for it to be painted at the shop. So if you guys want to like, you know, save some money and like try and do this yourself, trying to get more experience, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to be doing it. So um, the paint match is um, the paint code from Alexis is a 1G1, but um, apparently I have a different spray can that actually kind of slightly matches the paint code that I used on the end case and it has a little bit more sparkle than the original paint that I got from the paint shop so I'll show you guys in a bit. So these are the three spray cans I'm going to be using um, flat gray primer with this uh, color right here that actually matches uh, pretty close to the color on my car and then we're going to use the rust aluminum uh, clear gloss or gloss clear um, and th this is actually pretty good uh, or you guys can use 2k uh, clear um, clear coat so these three should be pretty inexpensive but for right now let's check if um, there's any imperfections and it looks like we are good we're gonna have to clean this down with alcohol and then we should be set to have this painted so before you guys start painting like you know uh, make sure you guys clean it down and then um, get hot water from the sink the hottest um, water you guys can get from the sink itself in the kitchen and then grab the paint can and just put it in just like that so the paint can actually be warm enough to actually be easier to mix when you shake the can so it could come out evenly you don't want any lumps or um, bubbles on on this paint or on this part because you want to make sure it comes out clean so you gotta have to do this for each can so like over time, about five minutes later, this the wire will get cold. Um, and for so when you guys want to go to this one, refill the this bucket with hot water again, and then put the second can in, and do the same process with the other one. What we're going to do is that we're going to lay at least three to four coats of primer on this duck build and we're going to make sure we cover every single area of this duck build from the bottom to the top on the corners to the sides and everything like that and once that's done we're going to go ahead and start off with the base. So after letting four coats of base paint to dry and um, you guys saw how I wet, not wet sanded, but sanded it down with the 1500 grit with very, very light pressure is because when you guys feel the paint after spraying the base, after like laying it dry, it's actually pretty bumpy because of the flakes from the uh, paint, um, the sparkles. You gotta make sure you sand it down. And make sure it's smooth and you guys can see like scalps right here and everything well that's a, that's gonna be okay it's gonna because the base paint is gonna cover it either way and then we're gonna fix up these imper imperfections so i learned this the hard way when i was painting the wheel so i did not know anything about that so i'm doing it to this duck build and hopefully it will turn out okay
I'm gonna go ahead and start polishing it with this uh, rubber compound. And this, I already done it to the first side by hand. This is like by hand without the orbital. I know a lot of people don't have the orbital. So doing it by hand, you guys can see like kind of a mirror finish. You see like the reflection in my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing more and more until it, it gets a little bit more reflective, but I'm gonna continue. So this side has been um, has been polished with the buffer and the rubbing compound. You can see how reflective this side is compared to the other side. I'll show you in a bit. So the rubbing compound helps bring out the uh, clear coat, so it make it a lot more shinier. And when we come to this side, it's slightly shiny, but you can see that the, you can see like orange peel right there, and Going back to the side, not really, it's really, really shiny. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up the other side and see how the whole entire results look. All right, time to add some wax onto this duck build. This is actually from Seafoam itself, I think. This is the brand. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and add some of this to see how it looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of this process on how to actually DIY paint parts at home and then polishing it and everything like that. It turned out really, really nice and I really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.